Elon Musk is no stranger to controversy, and this time he's picked a battle that may be too big even for the billionaire CEO. Elon has battled with journalists and naysayers and paparazzi and a hostile press and came out winning every time. But this time, he has a much more formidable opponent, the Securities and Exchange Commission. The story behind this strange and convoluted battle started where all modern wars do, on Twitter. And Elon has only himself to blame for the tweet that led to all of this. On the 7th of August, 2018, he tweeted that funding has been secured and that he was considering taking Tesla private at $420. Now, this caused a pretty big stir, and investors were concerned, leading to some very prominent volatility in the market. So much so that the SEC had to get involved and charge him with securities fraud? Whoa. Talk about a disproportionate reaction. Naturally, Elon wasn't too pleased and had this to say. You tweet a lot. I, I use my tweets to express myself. <laughs> Some people oh use God. their hair. I use Twitter. <laughs> well, but you use your tweeting to, to kind of get back at critics. Rarely. You, you kind of have little wars with the press. Twitter is a war zone. If somebody's going to jump in the war zone, it's like, OK, you're in the arena. Let's go. His war zone tweeting drew fire when out of the blue in August, he tweeted, quote, am considering taking Tesla private at 420, funding secured. The SEC disputed that claim and charged him with securities fraud. The case was settled with Musk agreeing that his communications relating to the company, including Twitter, would be overseen by his board. Have you had any of your tweets censored since the settlement? No. None. Does someone have to read them before they go out? No. So your tweets are not supervised? The, the, the only tweets that would have to be, say, um, reviewed would be if, if a tweet had a probability of uh, causing a movement in the stock. And that's it? Yeah, I mean, otherwise it's, uh, hello, First Amendment. It's for, like, freedom of speech is fundamental. But, but how do they know if it's going to move the market if they're not reading all of them before you send them? Well, I guess uh, we might make some mistakes. Who knows? <laughs> Are you serious? No, he's perfect. <laughs> Look at you. No, I, 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 I want to I be clear. I do not respect the SEC. I do not respect them. But, but you're abiding by the settlement, aren't you? Because I respect the justice system. After this, he came out to say that he was against being pushed into a CEO template where every move is vetted and approved. And since it's his natural innovation that led to the company, we kind of agree with him here. Uh, well, first of all, like, I, 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 I am somewhat impulsive, and uh, I don't really want to try to adhere to some uh, CEO template. I want to be clear, I do not respect the SEC. I do not respect them. But, but you're abiding by the settlement, aren't you? Because I respect the justice system. Did you handpick her? Yes. The impression was that she was put in to kind of watch over you. Yeah, I mean, that's not realistic. I mean, Like I'm a largest... babysitter. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not realistic in the sense that I am the largest shareholder in the company, um, and I can just call for a shareholder vote and get anything done that I, that I want. Well, it's important to emphasize that there's been an aggressive campaign by the UAW to absolutely uh, attack Tesla with a, a load of nonsense um, in, in order to uh, try to unionize the company. So you uh, think I, they drummed up these charges? Yes, this to these are outer out nonsense. It's possible that we would be interested if we were going to sell a plant or, or not use it, that we would take it over. Uh, I do not smoke pot. Uh, as anyone who watched that podcast could tell, I have no idea how to smoke pot. Or anything. I don't know how to smoke anything, honestly. The fact that Elon is not a traditional CEO by any means. He enjoys life, and he's admittedly impulsive. But that's what endears him to us so much. How many other CEOs can go and smoke a joint with Joe Rogan? And when the SEC tries to make such a crisis out of what was a harmless joke tweet about pot, they came across as out-of-touch oldies. So is that a joint? Or is it a cigar? No. Okay. 
It's um, marijuana it's inside sweet. of uh, tobacco. Oh, okay. So it's like posh, posh tobacco yeah. posh. You never had that? Yeah, I think I tried one once. Come on, man. You, <laughs> you probably can't because stockholders, right? I mean, it's legal, right? It's totally legal. Okay. How does that work? Do people get upset at you if you do certain things? There's uh, tobacco and marijuana in there. That's all it is. The, the combination of tobacco and marijuana is wonderful. First turned on to it by Charlie Murphy and then reignited by Dave Chappelle. There you go. Plus whiskey. <laughs> exactly. Perfect. Balances it out. I mean, alcohol, alcohol is a drug. It's been grandfathered in. Well, it's not just a drug. It's a drug that gets a bad rap. Because if you just have a little, it's great. Fine. Yeah, a little sip here and there, and you just your inhibitions are relaxed, and it shows your true self, and hopefully you're more joyous and friendly and happy, and, and everything's good. You know, I, I know a lot of people like weed, and that's fine. Uh, but I don't find that it is very good for productivity. For you? Not for me. Yeah, it's, I mean, I would imagine that for someone like you, it's not. Someone like you, it would be more like a cup of coffee, right? You want to, you have a mate. Yeah, it's more like the opposite of a cup of coffee. What it's like, like a cup of coffee in reverse. Oh. And while he may have joked about smoking pot and even tried it on a podcast, Musk had come out and clearly stated that he does not smoke pot regularly. And what's even funnier is that the tweet that led to all this was a harmless weed joke. Yikes, talk about a joke not landing. There are people who, who say that the company cannot survive without you. I don't and think that's true, yeah. there are people who say the company cannot survive with you. Ha <laughs> ha, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> they say it because of the way you Wait, acted over the summer, <laughs> yeah. doing things that seemed impulsive, on CEO ish? Uh, well, first of all, I, 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 I am somewhat impulsive, and uh, I don't really want to try to adhere to some uh, CEO template. Well, he certainly accomplished that, especially this past year when he began picking needless fights on social media. He called a diver of the Thai cave rescue a pedo, as in pedophile. <sighs> He sold 20,000 flamethrowers online and smoked weed during a podcast. What about the pot? Uh, I do not smoke pot. Uh, as anyone who watched that podcast could, could tell, I have no idea how to smoke pot or anything. I don't know how to smoke anything, honestly. Here are some of the words written about you. Yeah, for sure. Not, not the whole <laughs> time, a lot of words. <laughs> over this summer. Um, erratic, unstable, reckless, operatic. Operatic. Uh, it's not bad, actually. I kind of like that one. I'm just being me. I, I mean, I was certainly under insane stress and crazy, crazy hours, but the system would have failed if I, if I was truly erratic. You tweet a lot. I, I use my tweets to express myself. That joke may not have landed, but Elon can win over an audience on a good day. Just check out this video of him talking about a new robotic charger with some very advanced capabilities. You've got a, a new thing uh, that you think is going, people are going to want for their Tesla. Can I, Jim, can we show the footage of this? I think it's called, uh, this thing is <laughs> the power arm. Yeah. That is an extremely... It's a snake bot charger. It's a, yeah, it's a snake charger that automatically plugs into your car when you get home. This looks a little wrong. I, you know. <laughs> That really looks like the thing that jacks into the back of Neo's head in the Matrix. Right. All right, is that thing gonna we, attack me in my sleep? Uh, it's, well, I, I wouldn't, for the prototype at least, I would recommend not dropping anything when you're near it. 